up! Are you okay? Are you okay, Bernadette? I am okay. Let's let's get that sheep. I told you not to exert yourself. Don't worry about him. He'll come back. Come on, get up. This is the story of Bernadette, a poor, sickly child who had an amazing life. The story took place in 1858 in Lourdes an inconspicuous little French town on the Gave de Pau River at the foot of the Pyrenees, with around 4,000 inhabitants. One of them was former miller named Francois Subaru, father of Bernadette. He had fallen on really hard times. You are late, dear. I... I know. It's so hard to find wood nowadays. What? What happened to you? I... I think she had another asthma attack, but she's fine now. Oh, darling. Come, let's go inside. Francois and his wife, Louise, had six children. Desperately poor, the family lived squashed into one small room. But they were very happy and content with whatever they had. Good night, Mama. Good night, Mama. Good night. I'm really worried about Bernadette. She was choking and coughing all the time. I thought her stay with her aunt in Bartos did some good. Yes, it did. She tried teaching her as well, but she gave up, saying that Bernadette was not smart enough to make it to her first communion. Poor little girl. If only she could read... She wouldn't have to bother anyone. We should have done something. It's our mistake that we didn't let her learn when... <laughs> Don't worry, dear. Let's hope that Father Pomian will let her join his catechism classes. I am sure that he can help our child. Bernadette was eagerly looking forward to receive her first Holy Communion. She was making good progress, too. No, no. How can I teach you, Bernadette? You don't know how to read. And, and you're not at all familiar with the Holy Scriptures. That is true, Father, but what I do know, I know well. All right, then. Answer my question. Can you explain to me, what is the Holy Trinity? The Father, Son, and the Holy Ghost. That is good. But what is the Holy Ghost? Don't be sad. Not many understand this. Okay, let me explain. It is called Holy because it is the source of all holiness, and Ghost because it comes from the Father and the Son and is the source of all life and love. Do you understand? Okay, now hold this. A dove! A dove is also the symbol of purity, of the holiness of the Father and the Son. And so, the Holy Trinity is... One God and three people. You know nothing, and yet you understand everything. You can join my class tomorrow. What happened, dear? Are you all right? I'm okay, Mama. <coughs> <coughs> oh, dear. You should have stayed in Bartras. You must go back there. No, Mama. I want to make my first communion. My teacher promised he would teach me. But... I'm already feeling better. Don't worry. Everything will be all right. 
Good night, Bernadette. Good night, Mama. The next day, Bernadette and her sisters went out to collect some wood. Don't run! We can't catch up with you! No, no! Don't you dare! <laughs> She's in a very playful mood today. You stupid! Just wait there! Don't go far! You'll get lost! The children soon arrived at a place where the canal rejoins the River Gav. This was an area where driftwood washed up. Look over there! Lots of wood! Jean, wait for us! Oh, this water's cold! Bernadette hesitated because of her asthma. Bernadette, don't you get in that water. Remember what Mama told you. I won't catch cold. Oh, yes, you will, and you'll stay up all night coughing. But I want to help you. Three can carry more than two. We have no time. Just pick up what you find over there. Bernadette suddenly heard a noise like a gust of wind. But when she looked around, she saw none of the trees were moving. Raising her head, she saw a white figure in a dazzling light. I'm so tired. Let's go back home. Hey, stop. Did you see that? Bernadette! Bernadette, come on. We have to go home. Come on, give us a hand. You know we have to reach home before dark. I'm coming! She got into the water without any fear of getting cold at all. This water is so warm. Huh? That water is freezing. You liars. Come on, now give me that bundle. What happened to you? What were you doing over there? Didn't you see anything? See what? Well, if I tell you, you must not mention this to anybody. If Mama hears it, she will be worried. I give you my word. Come on, tell us. Well... I saw a lady, and she was all in white. A lady? And she wore a blue girdle, and had a golden rose on each foot. I have never seen anything in my life so beautiful. What would a lady be doing in this ugly place? I, I couldn't even make the sign of the cross, and she showed me how. Quit daydreaming. You saw nothing at all. You must be tired. <sighs> This looks heavy. I'll pick up this one. Mama! Bernadette, where have you been? Look at this! We have enough wood to last days! Yes, indeed. Thank you, dear. Let me fetch some water to cook. I'll fetch some water, Mama. Mama, please hold this. What happened to Bernadette? And I'm back! You told on me! Now tell me what happened in Masabiel. 
Will you tell me what you saw? Uh, something white? Don't lie to me. I swear to you, Mother, it is true. I saw a beautiful woman dressed in white. Oh, poor Bernadette. What am I going to do with you? When Bernadette told her parents about the apparition, they forbade her from going back to the grotto. Bernadette slept with great comfort that night. It seemed like her asthma was gone, and there were other signs that her parents couldn't ignore as well. Hello. Uh, we live down the street, and we are sharing some food with our neighbors. Please accept this basket. Sausages! Bread! Mama, we have not had sausages for so long. Shh, behave. Oh, oh, we would just be so happy if you would just take it, please. We don't know how to repay your kindness, but... Oh, please don't worry about that. We are only sharing our good fortune with our neighbors. God bless you both. This is food enough for a week. Have a good day. Is, is Francois here? Hello, Luke. He's gone out. What's the matter? Louise, the stable man of Master Egon has quit. The master wants Francois to start work immediately. Ah, oh, well, well, that's great news. Ask him to hurry. You know, it's so hard to find work these days. Your husband is very lucky. Bernadette realized that some miracle was at work. So she decided to speak with Father Pomian. I'm listening. I, um, I... I think I saw Our Lady. Huh? Where? At the Grotto of Massabiel. Word soon got out about Bernadette's vision. That poor creature. It's disgraceful. An insult to our Lord and our Church. While some were angry at poor Bernadette, there were others who were keen to see the visions themselves. My dear Louise, I would like to ask your little Bernadette to take me with her to Massabiel. To Massabiel? Mm-hmm. Madame, but I forbade her to return there. She's very ill, and it's not good for her. Louise, I think your little one is a genuine visionary. A visionary? Yes, she alone can see it. And I will go with her and find out what she sees. And I will find out if she is lying or telling the truth. My daughter never lies. Exactly. So, let me go with her, please. Stop, Bernadette. Wait for me. Why are you following me, madam? Don't worry, Bernadette. I got permission from your mother to go to the grotto. Hold this. That is the holy water. Come on. Let's not waste any time. Show me the way and I will follow you. Is this where you saw Our Lady? Is she here? <gasps> here she is! Throw the holy water on her. Do 
you come from God? If not, please go away. What did she say? She's smiling. Come on, throw the holy water now. What happened? Did she go away? She... she is still there. Ask her to write her name. Here, take this. <laughs> My child, what I have to say to you does not have to be written down. Will you be so kind as to come here every day for 15 days? I cannot promise you happiness in this life, but you will find it in the next. Tell me, Bernadette, what did she tell you? Bernadette told her what the beautiful lady said, that although she did not promise Bernadette would be happy in this world, the lady gave her word that happiness would be waiting for her in heaven. The Holy Virgin appeared to a young girl in Lourdes. What nonsense is this? Doctor, this girl must be hallucinating. As a man of science, I cannot make any diagnostics until I examine her. You must put an end to this, Doctor. The Church has no power in Lourdes, and we must keep it that way. I will look into it, but I will need your help. You can take two of my policemen and examine her. Let's put an end to this. Children, let us praise the Lord, our Father, who art in heaven. Hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Not again. Can you please give this to Benedette on behalf of our family? No, I cannot take this. Wait for me, Bernadette. I'm coming with you. They are leaving. When Bernadette left for the grotto the next day, many others followed her too. Penance, penance, penance. Pray to God to convert the sinners. Kiss the ground as an act of penance for sinners. Yes, with all my heart. Come with me. Let us examine her now. As Our Lady was speaking to Bernadette, the little girl was in a trance-like state. The doctor took this opportunity to examine her closely. Penance! 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 I can't believe it! Are you on her side now, Doctor? I'm a doctor, a man of science. You must believe what I say. I took her pulse. It was average. Even her eye reflexes were normal. There is no sign that the Subaru girl is lying. She is a religious fanatic. I will fight this vigorously, and I'll resort to any measures necessary to defeat it. But, sir, have you taken into consideration that... I don't know much about science, but I do know a lot about burglars, thieves, and scams. I promise you that if you give me five minutes with this girl, I will scare her enough that she will never go near that grotto again. Try it by all means. Try anything. The Holy Virgin? And what does she say, this Holy Virgin? Penance! 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 
she must be hallucinating. Our church could be discredited if she is lying. Either the child is having hallucinations, or we must admit the presence of a supernatural force. So what do you say we do now? Let me through! Let me through! Are you Bernadette Sobiris? Yes, I am. You are to come with me. Why? Why are you taking her? For interfering with the law. Don't worry, Mother. I will be all right. The news of Bernadette getting arrested circulated. And pretty soon, there was a huge crowd following her. There is no business for you here! Go home! Now, now I'm going to write down everything you say. Be careful how you answer. Now, about this lady you claim to see, do you know who she is? No, monsieur, I don't. What does she wear? A white veil with a blue girdle and a rose on each foot. Does she stand still like a statue? Oh, no. She moves and talks to me. She greets the people and even laughs. Hmm. Do your parents believe in this story? And yet you expect me to believe! Hmm. If your lady was real, wouldn't other people see her too? I don't know why they can't. She is there. Now, pay attention. I'm going to read your answers back to you. You have to confirm if they are correct. Bernadette Sobiris declares that the lady she sees wears a blue veil and white girdle. No, monsieur. It was a white veil and a blue girdle. But you said white girdle before! You! You, you must have made a mistake writing it down. She declares the lady resembles the statue of the Blessed Virgin. Monsieur, that's not true. That's enough! While the police tried to confuse Bernadette and contradict what she said, a large group of people had gathered outside the police station, demanding Bernadette be released. She is in there, locked up like a thief. We must rescue her. Wait, please wait. You must not return to the grotto. I... I promised to go for the next 15 days. Sir, we can't hold on any longer. Sir, the girl's father is here. All right, show him in. Papa? Bernadette, are you okay? Soberus, I'm glad to see you. I was going to send for you. Bernadette. You may leave. Thank you, sir. That girl is quite capable of defending herself. I think she is sincere, that's all. Hurrah for Bernadette! I am sorry, Mayor. What good are you? You couldn't even get an admission from this stupid girl. But sir, I... I think... I should have known. We should make an example of this girl in front of everyone. Everyone in this town will ridicule her. That will break her spirit. The mayor asked his supporters in town to mock Bernadette in public. And some of them were very happy to do that. In the meantime, Bernadette continued her visits to the grotto. By now, the numbers of believers had grown quite large. While she was very happy when she was at the grotto, she continued to be ridiculed by some in her own town. My 
poor little girl. What have they done to you? Papa, I will die if I can't see Our Lady anymore. I don't care what people say. You are going to see her tomorrow. Really, Papa? Yes, my darling. I will take you to Masa Biele tomorrow. Go and tell the priests to have a chapel built here. Sorry for interrupting the video. I am here to deliver a quick message. If you think our channel has given you $5 worth of knowledge, then can you take a moment to make a donation? Please don't skip the video. 99.8% of our viewers simply skip this, or many think they will donate later and forget. If you make a small donation now, then we can keep making good videos like this one. You can choose to support us through Patreon or make a one-time donation through PayPal. The links are given in the description box below. If you are one of our rare donors, we warmly thank you. You have shown the world access to good content matters to you. Thanks again, and God bless. Your plan worked. Looks like that girl is not leaving her house these days. I told you. Sir! Sir! What is it now? You have to see this. What's going on? Why are they coming here? They're not coming here. They're going to meet the Dean. What would they want with the Dean? You don't have to wait here. I must speak to the Dean alone. Huh? Who are you? My name is Bernadette Subirose. Oh, of course. Come inside. Well, speak. What do you want from me? Father, the lady at the grotto gave me a message for you. For me? What lady? The beautiful lady who always speaks to me at the Massabiel. Do you know her name? No, Father. Well, did you ask her? Yes, but she began to laugh. Everyone who follows you up there believes she is the Holy Virgin. I never said that, and I never asked anyone to follow me. Hmm. What does she say? She said go tell the priest that they should build a chapel. Ha! <laughs> a chapel? Where? At the grotto. Not a large one. And have you got any money to build this chapel? No, Father. Hmm. You find her quite extraordinary, don't you? Oh, yes, Father. Good. We will find out how extraordinary she really is. I've heard that there is a briar patch in your grotto. Yes, Father. Right under where the lady always stands. All right. Then ask her to make the wild rose bloom now in February. If your lady can perform this miracle, then I will find a way to build the chapel. I'll ask her, Father. I guess that's it then. You may leave now. I have other important things to do. Stupid girl. Father? You again? I forgot to tell you something. The lady also asked that the people walk to the grotto in a procession. Get out! Bernadette told the people waiting outside about the Dean's request. Everyone assumed that the Holy Virgin would perform this miracle during Bernadette's next visit. This got people very excited. Come on, Antonio. We have to get to the grotto quickly. Are you sure the lady will appear to Bernadette today? It is Thursday today. Little Bernadette first saw the lady on a Thursday. The lady returned to her on a Thursday. So naturally, the rosebuds should bloom today. Hmm. Come on, hold my hands tightly. We have to go quickly. If something happens, we should be the first to know. Hmm. 
anything yet. Shh, quiet. No, nothing yet. It's no use waiting. The roses won't bloom. Quiet. All right, but you'll see. Go to the spring, drink from the fountain, and wash there. No, not the river. Not the river? The spring. Eat the plants. These plants? What is she doing now? Drink from the spring and wash there. The spring. <laughs> what is she looking for? Little Bernadette dug with her bare hands. Searching for the spring, then suddenly she felt water in her hand. Even though the water was dirty, Bernadette started washing her hands and face with it. She's out of her mind. What's going on? Not understanding what was happening and seeing her mud-stained face, Bernadette's parents forced her to leave. But I must wash myself in the spring. That's enough, my child. Come, let's go home. Listen, everyone! You've been duped by this stupid girl! Go back to your homes and never return here again! See, I told you so. I shouldn't have hoped so much. Hmm. We must learn to expect nothing from God. There is no God. Otherwise, why would I lose sight in one eye? I never did wrong. I prayed at the church every Sunday with my family. Hey, do you see this? Did you forget? I can't see clearly. The water! It's coming from there. Come here. Look. What is it? Look. <laughs> Bernadette said there is a spring here. And everyone called her insane. Look at it, my friend. It's a spring. Hey, I... I can see you. I can see clearly. It's a miracle. It is indeed. <laughs> I'm sorry, my friend. I didn't believe you. Now open your mouth. Doctor, my eyes. I can see now. You must be joking. This man had been the doctor's patient for a very long time, so he decided to examine him closely. And when he was finished with his diagnosis, he was quite surprised. The doctor immediately left to find out for himself what was going on at the grotto. He could see a small crowd gathered around the spring. Good day, doctor. What's going on? Look over there. Martha is washing her baby in the spring. But that child is sick. He will die. We must stop her. He is going to die anyway. You know very well he can't be cured. Hmm. Are you sure your diagnosis of the child is correct? August 20th, high temperature, legs completely paralyzed, 
You can verify this with the nurse present during the diagnosis. She can confirm it's true. What if? Trust me, I'm not accustomed to believing things I cannot see. What about you, Father? What do you make of all this? Why? Why are you leaving? Well, unlike a doctor, I must believe many things I cannot see. And then, she held the child in that ice-cold water. And all of a sudden, the baby began to cry. Not a weak, sickly cry, but a healthy one. And you know, the baby was never strong before. And then on the way home, the child slept in his father's arms. When he woke up, he was smiling and hungry. Good morning, Mama. Good morning, dear. Francisco, it's late. We cannot take this. You should go home now. You can all come here one day. We will have a feast together. Why are you looking so surprised, Bernadette? We have made a bridge for you. It will be easier for you to cross the river. Thank you. Bernadette, remember what I told you. You must ask the lady her name today. Yes, Mama, I will. This is awful. Yes, sir. People from far and wide are arriving here. But the good news is it will stop today. Huh? Why? Well, it is said that the lady asked Bernadette to come here only 15 times. Today is the 15th day. Well, did you ask her name? This lady must have a name. I told you many times to ask. I did ask her. And? I didn't understand what she said. Can you remember the words she used? I repeated it many times so I won't forget. She, she said, I am the Immaculate Conception. Immaculate? Conception? Yes, that's the word she said. <sighs> Immaculate Conception? Immaculate Conception. Do you know what it means? Don't be afraid, my child. I'm not going to scold you today. Now tell me, do you know what that word means? No, Father. No one has ever talked to you about it? No one? Your confessor? Your teacher? Your mother? No, Father, I am sure no one mentioned anything about this. I asked her about making the roses bloom. She just smiled but didn't answer. How about the word immaculate? Do you know what that means? Yes, I know. An immaculate thing is clean. And conception? Don't worry, I will explain this to you. Do you know what we mean by original sin? Yes, I know that. The original sin was committed by Adam and Eve when they did not remain faithful to God and disobeyed His command. Very good. Now listen carefully. 
The Holy Virgin was absolved from the guilt of original sin from the first minute of her existence in her mother's womb. God did this for her because she was to be the mother of Jesus Christ, that is, the Immaculate Conception. Do you understand? Not very well, Father. Of course, it is difficult to comprehend, even for the initiated. Perhaps you can understand this. The Holy Virgin cannot say, I am the Immaculate Conception. She could say, I am the Immaculate Virgin, or I am Immaculate Mary. She could also say, I am the fruit of the Immaculate Conception. Birth and conception are events, but a person is not an event. You can't say, I am an event. I'd like to know how she told you that. I can show you. I am the Immaculate Conception. In the meantime, the grotto was becoming crowded with more and more people from distant lands who came to Masabiel to collect the holy water. The mayor and his men got an idea to put an end to this. Attention! By the order of the prefect of the Pyrenees, the mayor informs the people of Lourdes that it is forbidden to visit the Masabiel Grotto to pray there, or to take water in whatever form. Ah! Who did that? In the meantime, a team of doctors were sent to Bernadette's home to evaluate her mental health. Who are you? I'm a professor of psychiatry and neurology at the Clinic of TARP. I'm here from the medical department of the provincial administration. We have evidence that your child's mental health is unstable, and I wish to diagnose her. <laughs> that tickles. So, you see a lady at the grotto? Yes. Why is it that you are the only one who can see her? I don't know. Hmm. Now tell me, do you sometimes have headaches? I used to, but not anymore. Your health is rather poor, is it not? I'm in good health now. How much is 7 times 5? 35. And 17 times 18? Hmm. I, I don't know. Huh. Would you know the answer, sir? If you hadn't figured it out before? Hmm. What's going on here? Who are you people? We... We... We are examining her health, Father. She has her own doctor to do that. Tell me, honestly, why are you here? Well, Father, to tell you the truth, we have been sent to examine her physical and mental health. Sent by whom? The Prefect, at the request of the Imperial Prosecutor. Oh, now I understand. The Imperial Prosecutor wants to lock her up if you report that she is mentally unstable. Is that right? Well, Father, we are just trying to help her. But Bernadette is not sick. She is in perfect health. Anyone who thinks she is crazy is mad himself. As of today, she is under my protection. You must go away! You are forbidden to assemble here! Mother, why can't we go to the grotto? Why can't we get water from the spring? Because they won't let us, my child. We will have to pay the fine if they catch us getting the water. Your Excellency, we must help this girl. I wish I could help you, but we do not interfere with the authorities. Particularly in the case of Bernadette Subiris, we will adhere to our policy of not hampering proceedings. I have begun to wonder if she is a true miracle worker. Stop! 
My dear Dean, only the congregation has the right to decide if this is a miracle or not. Then we must set up a commission to investigate this. Hmm. Very well. I will ask the commission to start their work as soon as the grotto is open to the public. You can order them to open the grotto. No, only the Emperor has the right to do that. Will Your Excellency put in a word to the Emperor then? No, I will not. If that girl really sees the Blessed Virgin, then nothing is impossible for her, and she will overcome the Emperor. But your... Let us wait and see who wins, the Emperor or the Lady. <laughs> Looks like the plan worked. No one is coming forward anymore. Splendid! Move aside. Move, please. Mm. So this is the grotto. Come, let us get the holy water. Will you fill this up, dear? Wait! You... You can't take the water! Why not? Why not? Because that would break the law! What law? What's going on here? She's taking water from the spring, sir! Good morning, madam! Sir, may I have a word with you in private? What is it? Don't you recognize her? No, I don't. She is Madame Bruat, governess to his Imperial High Prince, Louis Napoleon. She is? Uh, oh, what have I done? I, I'm terribly sorry, Madame. Sir, Her Majesty is counting very much on the water from Lords to cure her son. Would you refuse the last chance to save the Emperor's son? Yes, uh, no, I mean, yes, you can take the water. Thank you. How is he now? I gave him the holy water about an hour ago. Thank you, Bruet, for your help. The doctor had given up hope on my child. Oh, madam, it was my duty. How is my son? He is much better. The water from Massabiel made him well. Water from Massabiel? Yes, Madame Bruet got the water from Massabiel and gave it to him. Look, he has stopped coughing and is sleeping calmly. Darling, you mustn't jump to conclusions so quickly. I disagree. We must have the humility to thank God for the grace He is affording us. The very devout Empress Eugenie's influence had a great deal to do with the Emperor's change of heart. From stoic disinterest to immediate action, a decree was dispatched directing that in the future, people should be allowed perfect freedom of action. Napoleon III and his Empress Eugenie, without knowing it, had given their everlasting gift to their citizens, the Our Lady of Lords Grotto. By order of His Majesty the Emperor, the previous ordinance is hereby revoked and nullified as of this date. The Grotto of Lourdes shall be opened to the public from today. Signed, Louis Napoleon. Ha <laughs> <laughs> ha! I must say, my dear Dean, your lady wastes no time in accepting a challenge. I did tell you so. <laughs> the town of Lords was in a great state of celebration. During the afternoon, the crowd circulated to and fro on the road leading to the grotto. 
the faithful in countless throngs knelt devoutly before the rocks of Masabiel. They quenched their thirst at the spring. They sang canticles and recited the litanies of the Virgin, Virgo Potens Ora Pro Nobis. The believers were free. God had achieved a victory. Our Lady had inspired a peasant girl to make a difference in the lives of millions of people. The Bishop of Tarbes then directs the commission to check the miracles that took place at Massabiel. The investigation takes many years, and Bernadette is questioned again and again. The commission eventually determines that Bernadette truly experienced the visions and was visited by the Virgin Mary. And as for Bernadette herself, she disliked the attention that she received and lived the simple life of a consecrated person until she died from tuberculosis at the age of 35. She was canonized as a saint of the church by Pope Pius XI on December 8, 1933, the Solemnity of the Immaculate Conception. In her messages to Saint Bernadette, Our Lady emphasized prayer and penance for the sins of mankind. The visions also call to mind the love that Our Lady has for God's people. May we always cherish the gift of God's own mother and call upon her when we are in trouble or in need. O Mary, conceived without sin, pray for us who have recourse to Thee.